are my intimate friends to test me. I want to talk from this thought this morning, overcoming a meltdown. Overcoming a meltdown. Let me suggest to somebody this morning that tragedy and drama has a way of finding its way into every life. It does not matter how good you are, neither does it matter how connected you are. None of us are immune to drama. Nor are we impervious to the emotions that show up when drama and tragedy make its ride into our lives. It's interesting, isn't it, that we think we might respond one way when things happen, only to discover that things can hit or hurt us more than we thought they would. And I believe that what impacts all of us at some point or another is the mental drain, the emotional exhaustion coupled with the stress and the strain of trouble. It can push us to a place mentally that we have a difficult time lifting ourselves out of. Job, y'all, is at the time of our text experiencing the fatigue, the weariness, the tension, and the trauma of having to press through and come back from a season of trouble, a season or a series of bad events, a sequence of unexpected pain, a succession of tragedy and drama. This chain of tragedy in his life, the loss of his home, the loss of his family, the loss of his livelihood, the loss of his health, coupled with the misreading of the moment has Job talking to himself, angry at God, angry at himself, angry at friends, upset by his trouble, confused by his storm, and hurting so bad that Job has a meltdown. Look at what he says. Job says, though I cry, I've been wronged. I get no response. Though I call for help, there is no justice. He has blocked my ways so I cannot pass. He has shrouded my paths in darkness. My breath is offensive to my wife. I am loathsome to my own brothers. All my intimate friends detest me. Those I love have turned against me. I am nothing but skin and bones. I have escaped with only the skin of my teeth. Uh, Job, y'all, is in the midst of a meltdown. And all of us have had our share of meltdowns. The man who thought he had no other option but to take the lives of his family and himself had a meltdown. The brother who turned to a bottle when life got rough had a meltdown. The young person who ran away from home when things got confusing had a meltdown. You know what a meltdown is, don't you? A meltdown is when things in your life go bad and you can't figure out what's going on and you end up letting the weight of the moment drive you so low that, you know, that you're no longer the you that you used to be. A meltdown is when the pressure, the strain, the stress of life takes you past your breaking point. A meltdown is when the demands of life, the weight of the storm, the pain of your problem takes you to a place in your mind and soul where you wonder if you will ever again regain your joy. A meltdown is when the pressure of parenting gets the best of you. Childs a challenge. Don't have the money to do what you need to do. Don't know how to handle a child who's gone wild. A meltdown is when the strain of paying bills gets to be too much. The reality that you may never have enough. The possibility that you just might lose the house. The chance that you might be the next one laid off. A meltdown is when the weight of being the decision maker, the pressure of being the one everyone in the family relies on and comes to when things are rough, the one who is expected to have all the answer when it gets to be too much. A meltdown is when things go from bad to worse and you don't see things getting any better and it wears you down to the point of tears, sickness, depression, anger, 